Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to episode number 10 of our Dead Men Armageddon series. We're starting this one off on 99,806 points as a rank 27, and the goal for today is to hopefully make it into the top 25 players of Dead Men mode. I'm gonna start it off by going to a Ziliana trip with a friend of mine, and we'll see how that goes. Hey, yo, by the way, I just pulled the uh, D boots. Easy. Oh, nice. uh, making money while getting KC, so we take those. Oh, you're going with a Tebow. You're going like, you want to snipe my kills, brother man. <laughs> no, I just want quick kills. I'm doing this shit so I get some points, man. I'm going to get oh. sniped. Oh, well, no, if, it, if it's really bad next trip, I'll, uh, I'll swap out. Yeah, you'll get every KC with Tebow 100%. I know the solution to this problem. Yeah. You following? Watch this. That's the solution. I just go in now and get one KC. <laughs> I get ACB without you, and then uh, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a straight up genius marketing strategy. Here. I got a Sada sword. It's close enough, you know. Hey yo, we got a got some charged one as well. Okay. Oh, people are logging in. What? Look, no, it's just one guy. He's going out. I think. Yeah, he went out. That's the guy I was doing it solo before. I'm just not hitting. It's a 58. <laughs> it's a 47. It's <laughs> man, like three seconds Ziliana kills. Oh, man, I hit a zero, bro. Bro, what is that? Yeah, like what? Wait, look, seven second kill. Man, can I start hitting or what? You're gonna kill it. Hey, listen, I might not have Tebo. It's rough out here, okay? But I got another Sara oh, sword, bro. Like, I'm printing Sara swords. Ladies, gentlemen, we have now surpassed 100,000 Deadman mode points, and it looks absolutely beautiful. The trip has been pretty successful. We're up to 31 Ziliana KC. I'm probably going all the way to 75. I think it is worth my time. And we could still pull another ACB. But yeah, what did you add to risk, by the way? Look what I'm using. Oh my, you f Dude, this guy, imagine if I blow pipe and shit. <laughs> He was like, how much How much do you want to risk? And he answered yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Rot op outside, by the way. Who? Rot AWP. But he, he went down and up. Good. Yeah, you see him? That's antiques, though. We get, we're scouted, so. Do you want to dip? Let's do 401 and then dip, yeah, maybe. We'll come back later if you want. Okay, let's do 401, I'm down. Rock peacock outside as well, yeah, we need yeah, to yeah. They're overloading, they're coming in, bro. Yeah, dip, dip, dip. You can teleport with the altar, by the oh, way. You can right-click on the thingy and TP if you maybe can. Yeah, I'm trying, bro. Oh, it's one square off the door, dodge. No. That's unfortunate. The blowpipe. It's good. Yeah, but think about how quick the kills were in the short time. <laughs> they were quick, <laughs> but we only got four kills. <laughs> <laughs> they were quite quick, though, I'm not gonna lie. It's unfortunate. Oh, oh, man. Next nice. time, next time. We'll <laughs> My guy just kept adding on the risk as well. <laughs> Fucking T bone throws, oh. then blowpipe. Oh, I got you, though, yeah? Alright, the Sara trip is no more, but we got decent amount of KC and as I mentioned a little bit earlier, over 100,000 points to show for it. It is now time to do a little bit of questing. Questing is very important in this Deadman mode, you get points, and we're obviously working towards achievement diaries at the same time. Now, one of the things I really wanted to do is finish mole achievement diaries, but for that I need to basically use Darok to get it down in 4 hits. How do I use Darok efficiently? I need Dwarven Rock Cake. How do I get a Dwarven Rock Cake? I need to complete the fishing contest. So, we're questing again. So, there it is, 82 agility, always equipping Sigil of Life whenever we're doing anything questing related, non-combat related. Here's fishing contest, little bit of fishing XP, but most importantly, I should now be able to get myself a Dwarven Rock Cake, which has the ability to lower my HP all the way down to 1. Let's set up the sigils and quickly do them all. There we go, we got the Rock Cake. My sigil choices for this kill are gonna be meticulousness, barrows, and adroitness. Meaning that the less HP I have, the more accuracy, obviously even more accuracy, and then even more accuracy. So I basically should never miss, but most importantly, I hopefully hit some high numbers. I don't have fire cape, I don't have a berserker ring, but I think it should be doable. There's something about doing this on deadman mode that feels very wrong. Okay, let's get it done. Big hits, please. Zero is fine, by the way. Because it's only the hit splats that matter. 35, not the best. 
five. Okay, this one's not gonna be a good kill. See, you would think accuracy would make it so you would actually hit every time, but very low amount of good hits. 76, very good start. Zero is fine, because it doesn't matter. That's decent, we're still ahead. Very good, now I just need a 10, basically. Zero is okay. Ah, that should do it, I think. Ah, beautiful. I was really not looking forward to that task. Now I can be a little bit healthier, I can do the rest with range. And beautiful, absolutely beautiful, nice. The next task is on 25, honestly, I could push for it. Okay, I'm not even sure where to buy a crystal shield, but my crystal shield is basically about to degrade. Oh, there we go, they came in, okay, can I just... Is it as simple as just clicking trade and clicking buy a shield? It is. Nice, 2500 charges on that one. The best part about this is you can put it in the bank and you don't lose it on death, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's test it out, put the crystal shield in the bank. Boom, we don't lose it on death, so pretty good. If you know you will need a crystal shield, it's a pretty good way to spend money. I'm still not completely decided if I'll be able to max this time around, but I do have 6 days remaining and I'm looking at the stats and I do think it is doable. I'm gonna start off by having a little mining and smithing session right now, obviously using Infernal Smith Storage and Harvest. This also makes you very decent money, funnily enough. Alright, and that's 75 mining, I think that's enough mining for now. We also got like 3 supply drops, all of them were not ideal. And smithing is all the way to 58 right now. The next thing I want to do is I want to take a look at some of these diaries and just see if I can do some elite steps for free, basically. I'm going to go across all of them because elite steps give a ton of points and eventually I want to do as many diaries as I can. Okay, let's see if this works. That worked, beautiful. Back to questing and we keep on doing diaries. This is the sea slug completed. It is the prerequisite for the next quest we want to do. There we go, 3500 crafting, rune crafting, thieving and promotion to proselyte. We're gonna need proselyte for the diary. That's why we did all of these quests. And it was a little bit annoying, but we are now 55 rune crafting and even got a bit of thieving for it. So we'll take it. Let's do the diary step and let's keep on grinding. Time for another farm run. I oh wait, I actually needed this. I needed Hespori because this is first time KC and this means that uh, points actually. So I was waiting for this to happen. What I was going to say there is I was also going to start planting magic seeds. There's 50k a pop right now and uh, yeah, we want to get this 99. That's 84 up to 85. The early goal is 86 and then obviously 99. With 86 we'll be able to do every diary. With 99 we get a bunch of points. Holy shit, that was a long farm run. I forgot how many different things they added in this game. I literally just spent... <laughs> Dude, I don't even want to know how long planting every single tree. There is even more, by the way, I need to check. I need to check the ones in dig site too. Bro, I feel like I could just be running around doing farming all day. Yeah, there we go. Elemental workshop completed. I should now be able to kill Wyvern without too many problems. We also got up to 60 smithing. This quest is really fast. It makes me wonder... It's probably really good to do early on in Deadman modes. I always skip this quest, but now seeing how fast it is, in the future DMMs, there's an angle where I will actually do this quest sooner, honestly. Uh, but there it is, Haunted Mine completed, a bunch of XP that we unfortunately cannot get. I will stockpile on a few of these, because we'll be using those in TOB later, I think. If you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing. Okay, I believe this is gonna be the quest completed, fairly annoying one, very low amount of food availability in the inventory. But with this, we should now complete one of the diary steps. Again, we get construction, crafting, and thieving. Not really helpful XP reward-wise, but every single quest also gives us points, and points are also solid. And we're still working on the diary requirements. Nah, he stole my sword and didn't give me... Bro. Alright, there's no way he steals two of them. He stole one, there's no way he steals two. Alright, here we go. Ah, there we go. Finally, didn't get scammed. What about the easy casket? Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, uh, let's do more diaries. All my easy tasks. There we go. Easy are the diaries completed. Beautiful. Mediums are doable, but a little bit annoying. And then the hards are very annoying, because for the hard ones, I would need to complete morning and part two. And for that, I need to do morning and part one. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to do it. I probably will have to do it. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's see. Will it work? Castle Wars. Hey, there it is, the task. Lovely. Pleasure doing business, balloon.
Okay, so if you're ever doing this step yourself, you need 400k. Oh, that's 84 agility as well. Uh, can you upgrade my stuff? And here's 200k. Basically, you speak to Kovtik right here outside of the cave. He gives you a broken stuff. You pay 200k to repair it. And then you pay 200k more to make it imbued. And that's your task. If you are confused, now you shouldn't be anymore. So I think I should be able to just pick this up. And that should be easy and... There it is, medium diaries completed. Let's go ahead and claim the XP lamps real quick. Easy diary completed and medium diary completed. We get the lamps, we get the cloak, we rub it. Now the decisions have to be made. I think we're pretty decided on runecrafting. I think it should be the slowest skill. I might be wrong in that. There's 56. Use the next one again on runecrafting. And that's 75k XP for 59. I never thought I would be spending 1 million gold pieces to make a dragon square shield on deadman mode, but here it is. Dragon square shield. There it is, eagle speak completed 2500 hunter, but most importantly we can actually use box traps, and this is required for a lot of diaries, so another step closer to being good at the game. We are on 101.9k points. Hey, there it is, from 65 to 68 thieving actually a lot of XP. And we have a Willow Blackjack. I don't know if I can get a better one. But thieving is something we need to get more diaries completed as well. We are now 70 thieving. Beautiful. I'm just AFKing on Knights of Ardy for a bit. And we're gonna be testing how much XP per hour can I get at this level. I don't have any bonuses. I don't have dodgy necklaces. I got basically nothing going for me. And we'll see how it feels. Nearly 4 hours later, we have a cat. Oh my goodness, we have a cat. That means I can do rat catchers when I feel like it but in 58 minutes there's a breach so I'm just gonna spend this time like just chill skilling honestly oh and we're getting approximately 1.2 mil xp an hour when we are actually thieving I've got a little bit carried away here 75 thieving completely afk I believe after level 90 I can literally click once and wait 25 minutes and it will never fail to pickpocket so definitely gonna get 99 thieving at some point the bridge is in 30 minutes, so maybe I'll thieve a bit more. I'm pretty excited for the bridge, though. The sigil of choice today is Arcane Swiftness, Meticulousness, and Rampart. And I'm actually putting even more, like, even D-Boots as well. Like, getting my defenses as high as possible. And, uh, yeah, let's see how today goes. I don't know how close I am to getting the point limit. I hope I still have a lot to do. That would be great. We're starting on 102.277 total points. And just hoping I get a good breach in. Southern Kandarin. Okay. Okay, so I think I know what I want to do. It's a little bit random, but it gives me extra layer of safety. Since this is somewhat close to the safe zone, but not completely close to the safe zone. I'm comfortable doing this. Which is two extra brews, and then this we will eat. Okay, let's go back. No! I think we might have reached it. I think we might have reached the breach cap. No, that's a disaster if that's the case. I'm not getting any more points. No, it is over. Okay, so we're probably gonna still join breach here and there, but we might be doing a big ad adaptation as to what we are doing during the breach times. Wait, hold up, I got more points. We haven't reached it yet. Maybe it's just bugged. I'm still getting points. Hold up, we're still cooking. Ooh, lots of PKing going down here. There we go. We are getting attacked. Let's focus on tanking. Don't really see... Oh, this guy. Okay. He's bolting a lot. He doesn't know about my sigil choices. I can just flick it. Ah, he just changed. <laughs> he just went for another guy. He realized I have the tank sigils. Little emblem situation. Oh, PK air on us. Let's see how we tank it. PK air dropped aggro. We go back. Oh, there it is. Derwin. This is us. This is all us, surely. I think my escape here is tank north to the cave. In and out if I can tab and then just run north to safety. Nothing in that one. No, Port Cazard is on us. Let's see how we tank. Okay. Make sure I flick this. Okay. Not bad, he wasted Void Wakers. I don't know why I randomly walked it there. Let's see. 
think we should be more than fine if I just play mage. Not really give him chances to hit me with anything else. I wait for one more hit. There we can brew again. Now we're gonna restore on the run. And yeah, it's it's just my sigils. He's catching freezes very well. See, but all we're doing is we're trying to prayer flick, predict what he's doing, and the sigil is doing amazing work here. I can tank to safety here, no problem, but we're gonna use the cave for a bit, why not? Flick that, brew. Flick that, brew. Flick again, that's fine, we can brew. Flick. No problem. Flick. No problem. Flick again. I'm just gonna tank to safety, I got so much supplies. I'll type a good fight as well. No problem. Brew. Brew again. Flick this, and then mage. Flick melee, and then mage. Flick range, and then mage. Brew. Never give him a chance. That's fine, not a chance. Still fine, still not a chance. And we're good. Very nice tank, very beautifully done. Look at the amount of brews left. One, two, three, four, five, a million brews. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And the breach is over. And what is the point situation at the end of this breach? Let's take a look. 104.7. Let's quickly log out and let's take a look where we stand at the end of this breach. Currently at the moment overall rank 17 and deadman mode points rank 27. Damn, it's getting hard huh? to be... Front page is gonna be not so easy. We still got an ability to do all of the chambers. A lot of diaries, a lot of quests still available, so yeah, definitely it's gonna be a grindy next few days, but I do think we can make it happen. The front page dream will happen. Here's level 80 thieving, I'll go on the sofa and play on laptop, this is so chill and AFK, I'm just gonna relax a bit, watch Gilinor Games last episode, and uh, let's see how many levels I can get. The AFK session was a big success, I'm now 90 thieving, but with a boost, I'm 95. And with 95 thieving and RD medium diaries, I never fail a pickpocket. So, effectively, let's see how tick perfect thieving looks like in XP per hour. Looks like it gets stopped at around 2.5 million XP per hour, completely AFK, putting us at about 3 hours of not looking at the game until 99 thieving. We'll take it. That was such an enjoyable session. I'm gonna tactically leave this under 99 and we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of more things now. The breach is in two hours. Late night farm run, I need to be really consistent with these. Here he is, 86. 87, finally broke the tree. We have 92 farming. That should be an elite task completed. There it is, beautiful. Here's 88 as well. There are a few Hespody tasks I wanna do. And I just want to see how the points will look like. Starting on 105, I'm just going to do a kill without using prayer. And I'll try to finish it off with a special attack. There we go. That should do three tasks, I think. Yeah, there it is. And we're now on 105.4. So we got 400 points for this. And we also completed another tier for Gomal, which is perfect. So we finished Hespori with a special attack. We got the flowers in under five seconds. For tomorrow, I'm gonna try to kill it in under 36 seconds. It might be very hard, but we'll give it a shot. And killing it five times, you know, we might have to do that as well. There we go. 89 farming to go with it as well. Oh, and I got the bottomless compost bucket, which I don't think is very useful, but it's very rare. Huh. Exactly one hour until the breach, I'm gonna go ahead and AFK 99 thieving with my sigils now. And then we do the 4 a.m. breach. Breach is happening in one minute. We're starting on 105,500 points. Pick air on us. Pick it again. There's a tier 5. I think there's a pick air on me again. Yeah, again. Somebody's bolting me, I'll just let them do it. I don't really care. They can bolt me if they want, no problem. They're hitting zeros, so I don't really care. Be care on us. And we're out. 
It's very easy to escape here, but getting hit a lot. Oh, pick air on us again. Here we'll do a little movement. We got an emblem. Pick air on me. Pick air on me again. We'll work our escape now. VLS shouldn't really hit us too hard. And just like that, we're out. I didn't even need to see him attacking me. <laughs> so, pretty good. Oh, double Kriara. VLS would go hard here. Because you have to play range. We also got another emblem. And another one. Pick air on me. Eat first, then dig. I don't know why I misclicked there, that's okay. Up, down. I don't think I want to tab out, to be honest. I want to keep going. Another emblem. Yeah, bolter on me again. And that's the breach done. I'll pick my emblem and go. We end the breach on 108,000 points. Let's do our usual and log out and in and see what rank we're at. Currently rank 28, very close to MMRPG and Man on Zia, very close to top 25 as well. A lot of grinding ahead of us. Let's get it done. It is 4.20 a.m. and I'm gonna be doing rat catchers on RuneScape. All of that just for this moment. I now completed Medium Falador Diaries and I can now complete the Rat Catchers quest as well. There it is, Rat Catchers also completed very obnoxious quest. And as if that was not enough, we are also super close to agility level. And there is 85 agility all through questing. Okay, this is so sketchy what I'm gonna do right now. Unless I can do that. Wait, I can just do that? I thought I needed to go through the whole way around. That is so easy. There is a very good trick when it comes to mind runes and when it comes to air runes tasks with Sigil of the Abyss. You don't actually need this runecrafting level. So all I need to do to finish every single diary in Falador is I need to get a Prospector Helmet, which will take me a little bit of time, and then I need to kill a bunch of Black Knights. Let's get it done. Firstly, I'm claiming my Medium Diary Rewards, and we're gonna put this once again on runecrafting. We're now 62.75k XP is pretty decent. And now we need to get a Prospector Helmet, so a lot of AFK mining. Alright, so we did about an hour and a half long mining session. We're now up to 78 mining and we are nearly done with the Mother Load Mine. No, I'm missing one golden nugget. We need 40 and we are out of this place. Okay, we got it. There it is, the last nugget. We need to buy a Prospector Helmet. Let me just double check before I make a mistake. Enter the Mining Guild wearing a Prospector Helmet. Alright, let's buy a Prospector Helmet. There it is. Let me also grab a little bit more food. Obviously when you do this you can't really be having much food on you. But I kinda wanna loot everything as well. Okay, I think that should do it. Prospector Helmet equipped if we climb down here. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful hard task completed and... Let's go ahead and finish the entire hard task by crafting 140 mind runes next. Just as a tip, if you're ever doing these tasks on Deadman mode, equipping Sigil of the Abyss makes you craft 5 times as many runes. You don't even need the rune crafting level requirements for the most tasks. However, I'm still gonna do an entire inventory here. Alright, so what you can do is you can destroy your looting bag. Everything is now on the floor. And we are just gonna go ahead and drop all of our items. And in theory, I don't really need to do this for my entire inventory, but I'll do it anyways. And that's Falador Heart Tasks completed, beautiful. That should be a very good XP lamp. Alright, Cerebral, there it is, another lamp obtained, let's go ahead and check the XP. So we go from 62 runecrafting, 150k all the way to 66, not bad. Okay, and let's see if this works. Beautiful, it worked, nice. With that, we now have only one task missing from being able to finish Falador Elite Diaries. And that is, we need to purchase a white sword from Surviving. However, you guys probably know, but in order for me to do that, I need to kill 1300 Black Knights. I have 400, so I'm basically, what, a third of the way there? Uh, let's work on that next. There's finally 90 range, no more in the 80s. I'm actually getting surprising 1.3 mil XP an hour just bolting these Black Knights, which... Uh, have very low amount of HP, so I'm pleasantly surprised about that. But yeah, I want to finish this Elite Diary. It's going to help with the Mole Casey, and in general, it's just good to do Elite Diaries because you get a ton of points for it. 
Sigil of Revoked Limitation. I don't think I have this yet. Oh, wait, that's the Wilderness Weapons one. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, going for much, unfortunately. That is really good. Sigil of the Guardian Angel. I don't think I will sell this, but I think I will keep it because we can do a lot of crazy stuff with this equipped later on. I mean, I also got Sigil of Devotion on top of that. GA plus Devotion is uh, not bad and I am nearly done. I am 1066 kills in, I need 240 more, but I'm out of bolts and I'm out of cannonballs. I am going to be doing a quick farm run before going to sleep and starting on 89 farming. Here is level 90 already, up to 91, and that's 92, we're now officially halfway to 99. I just had a one hour nap, in two minutes it's time for a breach, and then I'm going directly back to sleep. We're starting this one off on 108,800 points, let's take a look and see how many points we get. Northern Kandarin. Okay, so that would be like Camelot, right? Alright, let's go. Hit him with a yo. Just a good old, uh, <laughs> just a good old usual. Okay, well, that lasted one minute, no problem. We brew up, we go again. Pretty good hits from him, though, to be honest. Let me see what Asgarnia is. I might have to go to Asgarnia. Okay, I'll take this emblem. I'm changing locations. Okay, let's see. Okay, at tier 5, I don't think I'll take it. Oh, grapple could be a good escape here. Actually getting good damage here. Bosses are stacked. Another emblem. I can take this one. Oh, I wanna take this. Do that and go. I wanna take this Duradel on a little adventure here. No, follow me, Duriel. I kind of brought him in the middle of everything, but that's okay. Very close to safety here. Okay, we're being bolted, no problem. Okay, let's bank here. Nice little escape there through the door. Um, There's like many stairs. I don't think I need even a freeze to escape there. So just using the door technique. If others just don't see this be so many points okay one guy sees it but he's in dc me so as hard as this bridge is we're actually kind of printing let's see this will definitely be mine it's an emblem i can take it uh, bridge timer is gone now but i do believe there's there's probably like another mob somewhere let's take this emblem as well uh, see there might be a mob there oh there's definitely a mob here get a little bit more damage in uh, i think that's it that's where it ends we're not gonna overstay our welcome i mean it's literally over let's just quickly check our points log out check our ranking and get a little bit more sleep because oh my god i really need it but all in all a decent bridge had to relocate to american world we're ending it on 111.182 points and we're still not breach capped which is extremely good news so yeah we're still getting points let's log out log in see where we stand on the leaderboards right as the breach ends we are rank 27 very close to 26 extremely close to front page i have stacked up a lot of points we're talking elite falador diaries we are talking 99s that i intentionally haven't finished yet I think in the next episode I can push comfortably into the front page position again. But at the moment we are also rank 16 overall when it comes to total levels. I don't know how much I'll push this towards max. It's gonna be very hard to max this time around. Uh, but maybe this is something we'll look towards doing in the next episode as well. As always, I do appreciate you guys making it this far into the video. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. We do our very best to get a video out every single day, this Deadman. And if you want to support us, a simple subscription helps a big way. Thank you once again for your time. See you again tomorrow.